What's going on everybody? This is Ray Hayes with Supplierty News. Uh coming to you again for the Supplierty News podcast. Um I always say it's not long, it's not short. I call it the mini podcast series. So if this is your uh, first time checking me out, thank you. Uh before I start the podcast, I did want to let you all know uh about our social media uh outlets where we can be reached and also check out our website www.supplierT news.com s-u-p-p-l-i-e-r-t-y news.com uh on our website we discuss well we have daily articles that cover diversity uh whether it be diversity in tech uh or so on and so forth but the whole general idea of diversity throughout the business world we cover small business news we cover some politics uh, and we touch on their entertainment uh entertainment news as well so please come check us out uh once again it's www.supplierdnews.com we offer an array of articles and podcasts so if you miss one of our podcasts come on there and check us out on facebook you can follow us or like our page <clears throat> supplierty news also on twitter you can follow us at gdn network and on, we're also on Google Plus, so check us out on there as well. Just simply like our uh, Google Plus page. Uh, we provide the articles from the website on the Google Plus page uh, and the podcast and videos. So anything we uh, we post, it's on Google Plus. So today uh, I wanted to talk about a recent article I read from The Guardian. Uh, the article is called The Media Isn't Diverse, and this leads to appalling reporting to appalling reporting so the the uh, the writer talks about how the media or let's say newspapers or so to say go about defining themselves as objective and objective being that okay we're not influenced by personal feelings or opinions in considering and representing facts that sounds like a lie when you're writing a story, and I'm sure, granted, when you're going to journalism school or you're in English class, when you're writing a story or turning it in a paper, you put your own personal opinions into that paper because you have a f- somewhat attachment to that paper. You're writing about, usually writing about a tablet that is influenced by your Possibly emotions. Yes, you're going to have facts in it as well. Granted, but some of that paper is going to include some of your emotions. Now, it's best when you're writing news articles or so that you're objective because you don't want to favor anyone in particular. However, to hear news media outlets going about saying that they're fully objective that's somewhat of a lie. Uh, for instance, when you have stories, and the article brought it, uh, touched on it as well. When you have uh, stories where we're talking about uh, the Nazis, the neo Nazis, and or serial killers, say for instance, Charles, not I mean cult leaders, Charles Manson. A lot of times, when people wrote those articles, they humanized those subjects because. They had a personal feeling toward that subject. Now, and, and it can also not saying it could be a negative or positive feeling, but you had some for, some sort of feeling to it. And possibly when it came to the neo-Nazi saying, yes, they're only humans, you felt some kind of way because possibly they look like you or they look like your son. So when it came to reporting that information, you're not going to fully just demonize them. You're going to say, okay, granted, yes, their belief system or their belief or their ideas are totally out of this world and just far from my ideas. At the end of the day, they're only humans. They they, they don't mean any harm. I mean, 
they were brought up in a rough environment. Their parents taught them this. But for instance, now here's the there's the negative part of the situation. When you go on, yes, you get you humanize the neo Nazis and like I said, the cult leaders, the serial killers, uh, saying that okay, their environment played a role in their uh, their decisions or their ideology. But when you fail to do that, when it comes to another person, we have a problem. For instance, when when it came to the incidents of police brutality and young men and and women getting uh, brutalized by police officers and sometimes killed, a lot of news outlets, for instance, a Fox News or a Breitbart, and sometimes a CNN, failed to humanize those victims. They 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 thought of it like okay. The fact of it is, he shouldn't have charged at this at the police officer. You're not you're you're not saying okay, well the police officer didn't have to pull out his gun or something like that. You're just going about. You're not giving them a. You're not humanizing them. You're not giving them the benefit of the doubt. But you gave these neo Nazis the benefit of the doubt. So. That that that's a problem, and like I said in the the article by the Guardian, the, the 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 author, I mean the writer, brings that up. Like, how can you say you're objective, but when it comes down to it, you're not. You choose who you want. You choose not 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 who you want, but you choose how. You deliver or write an article based or based off your personal feelings, and it's nothing wrong with that. However, there still should be some form of objectivity in that writing, and you should not go about just having one sec of people or individuals in the editorial room approving these articles. And I brought up the fact that you shouldn't have one set of individuals because when in, in journalism, which is brought up in the Guardian article, journalism jobs usually go to white people. More than 87% of the time in the United States of America. And a staggering 94% in Britain. And if that's the case, the editorial offices and these art articles are being reviewed by one set of people who may not have a, a idea or, or a motion to, 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 to the subject. So when you fail to talk about these things or you fail to hire a diverse staff you're not only hurting your organization but you're hurting the public because you're not delivering stories on the same levels one story gets the benefit of the doubt and another story doesn't we don't hear about some stories because editors are saying no people don't want to hear about that but they don't know because they're not around everyone. America is becoming more and more diverse. And if we do not go about hiring or giving people opportunities who are outside of one set of one set one race, then we're failing. And we're going to continue to get these. Okay, yeah, media is objective. That's that's a lie. It's a complete lie because we're not taking advantage of diversity within our society, and that's failing us. And we're not uh, providing the general public with stories that that matter and stories that are newsworthy because. 
we see no interest in them because we have no interest in that subject or we have no feeling to that subject. And when we do have a feeling to the subject, we care more about that subject and we will give that subject a different reading. But if we do not care about that subject or have no affiliation to that subject, then it's like, okay, whatever. Now, I'm not saying this is all the time, but look at your bright parts. Look at your New York Times. New York Times. Some of the stories that they deliver are just, come on now, it, it can be better. Not saying that they don't deliver good stories, but sometimes it's just like, come on. Just, just come on. We, we, can, we can do better. It's okay to be subjective. But if you're going to be subjective, make sure you have a staff. A well, make sure you have a diverse staff. So more than one narrative can be pushed to the public. public. And maybe they don't want to do that. Who knows? Meaning they, like those... those those uh organizations maybe they don't want to do this no newspaper outlets media outlets maybe they don't want to do it it has to, but at the end of the day it has to be done thank you all for uh, listening to the podcast once again my name is ray hayes jr i'm uh with supplier t news please follow us on our social media platforms and uh i hope you all have a good uh week and just i mean think about what i said i mean the fact of it is granted the news should or the media should be objective and or journalism not even the media saying it wrong the media being the news granted it should it should be objective but it needs subjectivity to humanize the topics deliver the facts but we need some kind of flavor to it as well and if you can't add that fl flavor then make sure you provide us with writers who can or journalists who can thank you all and i hope you all have a good rest of the week